so we have a new add-on it's called x-ray weight paint and basically it allows you to paint through the mesh or on the back side of the polygons so here i have a mesh with an amateur if i just go to weight paint mode and try to paint some weights by default blender only paints on the front facing polygons after installing the add-on i have this little button here if i enable it and paint again you'll see that I'm also painting on the backside of the mesh. So alternative name of this add-on is Backside Painter, but <laughs> I'll be sticking to X-Ray Weight Paint. So if you want to know how this works, painting through the mesh is actually a native Blender feature. You don't need an add-on to do it. It's just that Blender doesn't make it easy for you to enable this mode. Here I have a mesh that is not yet parented to the armature. So I'm going to shift select the armature and press Ctrl P and parent with empty groups. Then shift select the mesh to make it active and go to weight paint mode. And I have X-ray enabled so that I can see the bones. If I just paint, I'll be painting only on the front side. And what you need to do to enable painting through is to disable front faces only under advanced. And then under fall off, you need to switch fall off shape to project it. And finally, there is this front face fall off option and it is off by default and it needs to stay off. If you enable it, that will again ruin the setup. So currently I can paint through the mesh, but if I enable this, then I won't be painting through the mesh. And again, if I turn it off, I am painting through. So what the add-on does actually is to switch these settings in one click. So if I disable X-ray weight paint, you'll see that front faces is enabled and fall off is set to sphere. And if I turn it on, front faces only is off and fall off is set to projected. And front face fall off is off in either case. Next to the icon of the add-on, there are some add-on settings. And here is what they mean. Under actual property, we have these three settings that have to do with uh, painting through the mesh. And we just list them all in one place. You can see that if I Press the button here, which is the same as pressing the icon. The settings change and also the actual settings in the Blender interface change. And below the actual property, we have saved off settings and saved on settings. And these are the actual settings that we recommend. But if you want to create your own workflow, then you can change how things are set up and then enabling and disabling this button will have a different effect. In general, I do not recommend that, but it is possible. And that's it. In most cases, you just need to switch this button on and off, and it will determine if you're painting on the back faces or not. If you want to get the add-on, it is available on Gumroad. Just like our other add-ons, it is uh, pay what you want. We actually would appreciate it if you spend some money on it, but if you can't afford it, then it's also available for free. When you buy the add-on, you can click the download button. It will take you to the download page. Just click download and that will download a zip file. And back in Blender, you can go to edit, preferences, add-ons, click install. I'll just go to the folder where I placed the add-on. It's here. Um, and then you just have to click install add-on. I already did it, so I don't want to install it twice. And then the add-ons name will pop up. It will be disabled, so just enable it and you'll be able to use it. That's it. It's a tiny little add-on, but I personally find it very useful. I hope you like it as well. Big thanks to Blender Boy for developing this add-on based on my input.